Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I am your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about structure and function of cellulose. Cellulose is component of plant cell wall. It means that this component is particularly present in the cell wall of plants. It is not present in animal cells because animal cells they do not contain any cell wall. It is formed by one four glycosidic bond between hundreds of D beta glucose. Now two things are what is beta D glucose and what is beta 1 for glycosidic bond. If you see here this is the structure of beta D glucose. Here you can see the orientation of OH group it is above plane. When the OH is above plane it means that it is going to be beta D glucose. The second thing is one for glycosidic bond. Glycosidic bond is actually a bond between two sugar molecules in which one water molecule is produced. The bond is formed between one and four carbon. If we count the number of carbon for this glucose, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five and six. So the bond it will be formed between one carbon of one glucose while the fourth carbon here you can see this is fourth carbon fourth carbon of another glucose the glycosidic bond is going to form between this OH and this OH in this reaction one H is donated by one glucose and one OH is donated by another glucose. In this reaction we will have a water molecule produced while these two glucose molecules they are going to be attached with each other. So the bond which is formed COC this bond is known as glycosidic bond. Along with this hydrogen bonds they are also present between the layers of polysaccharide. The cellulose is a complex molecule. It means that glucose they are arranged in many layers. Here you can see this is one layer and this is another layer. One layer is attached with each other by the help of glycosidic bond but two layers they are going to be attached with each other with the help of hydrogen bonds. Here you can see this is hydrogen bond. So this is how it's going to create a very crystalline structure and very rigid one. Two beta glucose molecules they join together to form cellobiose. When two glucose molecules are going to combine with each other, the structure which is going to form is known as cellobiose. So this structure is cellobiose in which two glucose molecules they are attached with each other by the help of glycosidic bond. It is degraded by the action of three different types of enzyme. If you want to degrade cellulose, you need three different enzymes. One is endoglucanase, endo means inside. So it's going to break the cellulose chain from the inside like this. The second type of enzyme which is required is known as cellobiohydrolase. It is going to break the cellulose from the outside. While the third one is beta glucosidase. Beta glucosidase is going to break down the cellobiose into glucose molecules. It means that the cellobiose which are formed by the action of these two enzymes endo and cellobiohydrolase are going to be broken down into simple glucose molecules by the action of beta glucosidase. So this is how we are going to break down cellulose to get glucose molecules. Coming towards the function of cellulose. The biological function of cellulose in plants is to provide shape and rigidity to the cell wall. Because of cellulose, we can see long trees, rigid structure and compact structure of leaves. Along with this, cellulose also contribute to the capacity of plant cells to withstand turgor pressure. Turgor pressure is actually the water pressure which is exerted on the walls of the cell. Because the cellulose is present in the cell wall, it's going to withstand the pressure. So as the pressure is going to increase, there is a possibility that the cells they may burst if there is no cellulose. 
It also serves as energy source for various microbes which are found naturally in the digestive tract. As we said that when the cellulose is broken down, we are going to find glucose. And we know that glucose is a major source of energy. So in the gut or in the digestive system, the microbes are present. So when the animal or the herbivores, they are going to consume the plant material or the fiber material, the cellulose present in that fiber material is going to be broken down by the enzymes, these three enzymes which we just talked about, produced by the microbes present in the digestive system and then the glucose which is produced at the end reaction is going to be used by that microbes to produce their own energy for their metabolism, for the reproduction, to convert their one cell into two cells. In humans, cellulose present and the dietary fibers help to reduce the risk of cancer and cardiovascular diseases. So the fibers which are present in the plants which is normally taken by the humans in the form of salad or in the form of spinach or some other uh, green vegetables is going to help not only in the cancer and cardiovascular diseases, cardiovascular means that heart diseases, it's going to help in the smooth movement of the digestive material through the digestive canal. So that was all about structure and function of cellulose. If you have any question related to this topic, you can ask me in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.